Now, I like this time of year, man. It's almost summer. I'm excited. That's my favorite season, probably. And then winter is my least favorite. And spring and fall are tied for second. <laughs> if we're voting for seasons. <laughs> Unless you're a ninja. If you're a ninja, then you probably love the spring and hate the fall. Because there's crunchy leaves. <laughs> Like when you would walk. Yep. That's my favorite joke because the people that get it totally get it. The people that don't get it are like, he's dumb. That's okay. Don't explain it. If you explain it, it just makes people go, oh. Well, that's dumb. I smoke pot. I, uh, it's legal in Missouri now. That's cool. Yeah. You can just be a piece of shit <laughs> legally. So that's exciting. Some places have medical marijuana, and that means that you can only smoke if you're a doctor. And I think I agree with that. <laughs> These people work hard. They deserve to smoke weed. I think about that, I've been smoking pot too long. I think about like if I could have back now all the money I've spent on pot in my whole life, God, do you know how much pot I would buy? <laughs> a bunch, probably. I think Santa Claus was a pothead. I think he was just a pothead dude who gave free shit to his friends and they wrote about it in their diaries. And then 500 years later, I don't know when Santa was, but it doesn't matter. Like, everything about him just sounds like weed. He's just a fat dude with a beard. That's pot. He wears his pajamas everywhere. And that's pot. He only wants cookies. Like, I'm gonna drop some shit off, dude. Just leave me a little plate of cookies. Ho, 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 what is that? <laughs> it's not even a thing. I think they wrote it like that, but I think it just got lost in translation. I think that's just a pothead laugh. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I like that joke, because it'll make you laugh again at Christmas. <laughs> you guys will see a ho, ho, ho somewhere, and you'll be like, hey. <laughs> Oh yeah, I do have a, a t-shirt if you want to actually buy something from me. If you're watching this, you can buy it online or if you're here. I couldn't think of anything to put on a shirt, so they're not like... <laughs> pretty. And I have these too, they're unrelated, but they say ninjas hate crunchy leaves. <laughs> right? All right, whatever. They're both good grocery store shirts. People will breathe out of their nose at you if you wear it to the grocery store. And they'll see you and go. <laughs> but yeah, buy a bunch of them if you want. It helps a lot. I'm not selling shirts because I'm like hoping to open a shirt store one day. Like you can still walk up to my little shirt table and be like, hey, what's up? And I'll be like, hey. Yeah, you gonna buy a shirt or... <laughs> nah, you can just come up and say hi. I'll shake your hand or take a picture with you or sign your boobs or whatever. <laughs> that is a real life comedy thing that happens sometimes. Every once in a while you get to sign a boob. Of course, the negative part of that is you don't get to choose <laughs> who wants their boob to be signed, but you still have to be like, yay. <laughs> Whatever you want, sir. <laughs> Seems weird, but you did buy five t-shirts, so everybody knows that's the deal there.
Now, I said that joke one time and a dude yelled out, he goes, how much for you to sign my friend's nutsack? <laughs> and I was like, dude, that is ridiculous, a thousand dollars. That seems about right. I'm not doing anything weird. I'm not even touching it. It's just the marker that touches it. I told him he has to stretch it and make it. So come talk to me after the show. Got some credit card debt I need to take care of. I'm about 49 nut sacks in the hole right now, so... Hopefully it's a supportive audience.